Hi, I'm Teresa. Welcome to your second yoga workout of 21 days to fitness. So, our first one we did an introduction to the sun salutation of A and B, and we rounded off with two variations of the Uttatasana chair pose. So, today's theme is around Uttatasana, so it's a lot of leg work, really good core stability, and a little bit of uh, focus and discipline in the burn. So, come into your warm up. We can start in our child's pose, big toes touching at the back, knees separated, arms nice and wide, and then we will follow through with this. Three deep breaths. Inhale, come in halfway up, and you can walk both arms across to the side, and then slow it down. down, and three deep breaths. Inhale, coming up. Neutral spine at the start, so stacking your hands under the shoulders. Knees are hip width apart. Cat and cow stretches. Inhale, pull up. is allows to move in each variation. And come to your neutral spine, you can hook your toes up like the back knee, inhale press them just off the ground. Two more. Inhale up, keep the neck in a neutral position, and go back down. Inhale up, and again, go back down. Just warming up the glutes, you're going to bring your knees together at the back, taking the weight, make sure the toes stay touching at the back, and squeeze back. We're just isolating into the glute medius, which likes to be bit lazy from time to time. <coughs> and two more. Same from the other side. And always bringing the knee back towards the leg at a slightly slower pace as we move. Widen your feet a little bit, coming up to the toes at the back and pressing into your first downward dog bend. Bending the knees, remember always walking out, <coughs> warming up, loosening, bending the hips a little bit, staying with the movement and just warming up and bringing the blood flow to all the muscles underneath the neck, pressing the hands away. Inhale, float forward to plank position for me, and exhale, plank downward dog. Three more. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, go up. Inhale. hands back towards your legs for me, keeping the legs straight if you can, otherwise bending all your palms, up the legs, hands to your hips, and inhale, stand straight back up. So coming just to the front of your mat, 
the carpet so you've got enough space for your legs to go straight up behind you. Into your starting pose, Sadasana, big toes touching, gather the heels and still up for you. Inhale down, exhale, crawl down and through. Inhale, halfway lift, dipping right leg back, left leg back, lowering down to the knees. Inhale up to halfway. Fourth leg back, down and through. Inhale to downward facing dog. And good, feel free to keep wiggling your legs, keep moving, keep loosening up until you feel comfortable to move into your full range. Inhale and come to your fingertips. You're going to step through, this time lowering the back knee so we're planting you down. Hands coming onto the knee. Small little stretch in the back body. Keep placing the weight through the hip. On the left hand side, so you can feel the stretch to the top of the hip flexor. Okay. Toes at the back, plant your hands on either side of your foot, stepping slightly back with the right leg and going straight into your downward. Inhale and come to your fingertips, stepping the left leg through, lowering the right knee down, planting the foot at the back, flexing the knees, and dropping the weight forward. Okay, making sure that that front knee doesn't press over the toes, so you can go long, symmetrical, and nice and even down the body. your downward facing dog. Inhale and come to your fingertips, step your right leg, step your left leg, inhale halfway up, exhale full thrown and through, inhale, arms straight to the ceiling and exhale, hands to your side. Same again, inhale up, exhale, fall down, inhale, halfway lift, keeping on the space at the knee, exhale, this time stepping left, stepping right, so we can keep lowering to the knees, keeping the back forward, inhale up to baby cobra, exhale, take your knees to the heels, and pressing up into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the hands, stepping the left leg through. This time <clears throat> we're moving to a high lunge so the back knee stays off. Hands come to the front knee. So again, checking your hips are square, that back quadricep is still active, and the heel pressing away from the body. Front knee not pushing over the toes. Every part of the body is some way active, especially in the lower limbs. Exhale, plant the hands down, and step the left leg back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come to your fingertips, stepping the right leg through, keeping in the high lunge position again. So back left leg is pressing through, heel is driving away from the body. Front knee in a correct alignment, facing forward with the hips. Shoulders relaxed, breathing steady. And next exhale, plant the hands on the outside of the foot. Stepping quietly back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, come to your hands, coming up on 
toes, hands down, slightly jump, and step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward back down. And as you inhale, come straight into Uttasana, chair pose. So remember, inner thighs are still touching, squeeze them together. Swivel, bend the knees, belly button rounding through, and shoulders relaxed. Exhale, lowering the arms, sinking the knees and walking in. Shoulders relaxed, the weight disengaged. Make sure you keep the inner thighs active. Keep the toes off. Around. Make sure your weight's even through both feet and gaze is dropping forward. A little bit more, a little bit more, especially if the quads are burning. Hold it, use your breathing to regulate the lactic acid and exhale. Separating the feet, Paramushasana, grabbing the big toes with the pinky fingers, thumbs to the top of the big toe. Exactly the same as we did in the first series. So inhale, create space, and exhale, forward fold. So your next inhale, taking your hands underneath your toes, Paramahasana. Big toes ideally all the way to the edge of the wrist, leg straight if you can, otherwise small as you can. Inhale, create space, and exhale, Breathing the chest to the legs, rounding through the spine. Hips, exhale, hands to hips, and inhale, all the way. Bringing the toes together, back to Tadasana, starting pose. You guessed it. Inhale up, Uttasana. I want you to inhale for me and come up onto your Tippy toes, channeling through the balance onto your calves. And as you exhale, lower the hands down, keeping them at shoulder height, and start to gently lower your body from your bum towards your knees. Staying on the heels, staying on the heels. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Arms all the way up. Notice. Still on my tippy toes, bringing the hands to prayer position overhead. Exhale, lower down, come with your back to the heels and twist over your right leg. From here, you can lift the toes up for me. I'm real, just making sure the balance is equal on both legs. Coming up, hopefully extending into the knees, and exhale, twist. Two more twists on each side in your own time. And each time trying to get that elbow a little bit further across onto the body. Just keep keeping the toes off if you can. Nearly there. Last one up. Lift the knees to the arms back up. Onto the tippy toes as you lower the arms back down and again into the full squat once more. Squeezing the inner thighs, keep them nice and active. And as your bum softly touches to your heels, pressing back through and driving all the way up. Exhale. Keeping the feet slightly away, going back into your 
the shatna, so same thing. She, he, these fingers are the big toes, thumbs are holding, just wait for the, for the big toe. Slightly different here. So as you inhale, pulling forward, exhale, you're going to transfer the weight onto your left foot, lift the right foot up, and softly flex it down. Let's try that on the other side. Inhale, plant the weight to the right foot this time. Exhale, extend the left foot forward. Great. It's a lot of stabilizers. You should feel a bit of a burn on the outside leg. Let's repeat that to transfer the weight as high as we can go and flex it back out the other side. Great. So one more each side. Remember, even if it's a small little lift and you can feel your stabilizers challenged, that's that you're working within your brackets. Inhale, placing the palms underneath the toes against me. Exhale, release, letting the chest fall forward. fingertips, exhale hands to hips, and inhale right the way up, nearly there. So again, returning to your Tadasana, if you guessed it, inhale up, do Tadasana. So from here, what I want you to do is extend your right leg out, keeping your foot flexed, left knee still bent, shoulders relaxed, and pulse Ten on each leg. Keep that right leg active. Keep the foot flexed. Great. Change sides. So always come back to your start position correctly. Extending the left leg. Keeping it flexed. Down. Still in your chair pose for me. Just thinking, are you Utkatasana? Lift the toes off. Sinking, sinking, sinking. So from here, you're going to extend the right leg again for me. You're going to drop in back as low as you can go into your pistol spot. You can drop the heel down. You can have something to help to support the stabilize. down, reaching through the toes and just stretching out the hamstring. So finding something to press up off if you need, which I totally do. Tucking the foot in if it needs to be as well, that'll help you get your initial little lift and then extending back up. So shake out the legs a little bit. Inhale up to Utkatasana. Belly button tight. Exhale out of Utkatasana. Extending the left leg this time. Knee going down as low as you can go. Grab something to stabilize on and go down with it back on the ground. Keeping that foot flexed, moving forward. Maybe in the belly, trying to push through that right leg. Keep it stabilizing, tuck it in for a little bit of a cheat. Come back up and release. 
for one final chair pose. You're going to hold for 30 seconds for me. So inhale up. Shoulders relaxed. Of big and gentle. Well done, good work. Your legs should be feeling nice. And remember, if you'd like to add on the finishing sequence, taking a Shavasana pose after the 20 rapid point sequence, we do highly recommend and suggest you take the time. Have a great day.